This morning, 26 runners and a crew of support head off on a journey of a lifetime. 1,075 miles, 8 days, from Cleveland, Tennessee to Boston, Massachusetts. News Channel 9's Betsy Golden is in Cleveland right now, but before we get to her, we want you to get to know some of those strong, determined runners. Uh, 178 years ago, Davy Crockett, who was known as the man from the wild frontier here of Tennessee, led a group of volunteers to the Alamo, a man of great exploits, uh, acts of mythical proportion, who has set the stage for the volunteer spirit. In true Davy Crockett spirit, 26 people are taking off on a journey of epic proportions. Everyone with a different story, but one common goal. I really got into it just because I was so angry after the bombing last year. Um, and the fact that these people that have trained for this just bucket list probably kind of thing once in a lifetime didn't get to finish. For some runners with kids, it hits closer to home. So I've competed in similar races and uh, my husband has carried our two-year-old to finish lines to see me cross. That just makes me emotional because they kind of attack the spectators. I mean, that's who was hurt. And just to think like that could have been my family. The reason is I have a 21 month old son and I want to show him that anything is possible. So running from uh, Cleveland, Tennessee to Boston for me is to show him, say, hey, if you want to do anything you can do in life, just put your mind to it and it can happen. Others want to focus uh, on the little ones affected. With, uh, I get kids every day that start behind the eight ball with a lot of things stacked against them. Um, and this was one more opportunity. Uh, to work with families and work for families that have the cards stacked against them. And anything we can do to dive in, help, give, uh, I feel like that's our purpose, is to give back to others. And uh, what better of a way, what better of an opportunity uh, than to pour into the lives of some other people. And um, I know we could have just delivered a check by mail or something, but actually running, I know it's going to be a challenge and a struggle, but it's really not much of a struggle at all compared to what some of the kids and stuff that lost a limb and the, and the Dream Big Foundation, some of those struggles, it, it's, it's nothing compared to us running eight days. Or the city as a whole. It just so happened that Boston has been a city that I've loved since I was a little girl. I've had friends that have lived there and I've visited and spent a lot of time there. And then I also run. So when she um, mentioned it, I thought it would be just a, an amazing way to give back to a city that I love. Coming up in the 8 o'clock hour, you'll meet more of the team members and hear their reasons and inspirations for heading to Boston. But right now, we are going to take you there live where Betsy caught up with the man who determined the route the Run Now Relay Group will travel to Boston. News Channel 9's Betsy Golden is there with him now. Betsy? Well, good morning, Lauren. Yes, we are here at the Bradley County Courthouse, and all of these runners are busy getting ready, and I'm with Tim Spires, and he is the brains behind the root of the run. This is going to be an eight-day run. Let's talk a little bit about the plan. Okay, so this morning we're going to go over to Lee University, help kick off their cystic fibrosis 5K. Uh, the runners will come back over here to the Bradley County Courthouse. We have a kind of a launch ceremony, and then somewhere around 9 o'clock this morning, I have the fortunate honor of being the one that leads us out of Cleveland for a 1,075 mile journey to Boston, Massachusetts. I am truly exhausted just thinking about you guys doing that. And they're going to be running six mile intervals. Can you show everybody sure. sort of what y'all are going to be doing? Okay, you can see from the map we start here in Cleveland going up through. We'll go through Knoxville. We'll be by Neyland Stadium, one up into Bristol, Tennessee by the Bristol Motor Speedway. You know, from there on for a while, it's a little bit of a climb because we have to go over the Appalachian oh, Mountains. It's really beautiful, though. But uh, some beautiful way in there through the Shenandoah Valley on in to Charlottesville. We'll be right there at uh, VA, mm -hmm. UVA. DC will run down the mall. In Philadelphia, we'll be going by Independence Hall, by the Liberty Bell. We're probably going to make a stop at the library where Rocky did his famous run up the steps uh, on in through New York City. We're going to hit that Friday morning about daybreak. We'll take a solemn walk through Ground Zero, run Broadway all the way up through Central Park, one out by Yankee Stadium, heading over into Connecticut. Our route takes us by Sandy Hook Elementary. We want to stop and remember that time there. On in Hopkins. Massachusetts, the beginning of the Boston Marathon, the last 26.2 miles will be the actual marathon route. Oh, wow, and y'all are going to get there the day before the marathon. The day before, what? we're going to hook up with one of our two charities, 
Dream Big Foundation, which is a Boston-based charity that provides opportunities for young young girls that are from homeless situations or whatever to participate in sports activities. Also, our other charity is One Step Ahead, which provides prosthetics for children with amputations. And in each city, y'all have already almost raised the $50,000, but in each city, are you going to try and get yeah. more? We hope to be a moving fundraising vehicle. Uh, one of our members, Clark Campbell, has got some great things planned that we can do along the way. We hope to continue to raise a $1,000 at every state. It's just incredible. And we're going to be talking to Clark Campbell in just a little bit. I don't know about y'all, but I'm exhausted just looking at this. So I'm going to show y'all coming up in about 30 minutes inside the truck. I don't know if you can see it, but we're going to go inside there, which is where I would be hanging out if we were there. So back to y'all in just a little bit. All right, thanks, Betsy. And now that is a pretty cool truck, so you're definitely going to want to see their little mobile coming up in just about a half hour.